All right, hello. This lesson, we are going to do some coding bats, some specific ones with finding digits and stuff. But before we get to that, I want to have you do a warm up question here. This is often what it looks like on the AP test for recursion is you have to interpret a recursive method. So uh, pause the video and see if you can make sense of what's going on with this one. All right, so this is going to take in the string watch. Originally, it's being passed in according to this call down here. And then um, it does the length first. So the length of this would be five right now. And so if it's greater than one, it's going to do a substring from zero to length minus one. So if I label these, okay, and if I do a substring from zero to length minus one, that would be zero to four. And remember, it one's one past. So temp here is going to be uh, not have the H. It's just going to have the C, because if it runs zero to four, then the H doesn't count, so it's just what, and so it prints that out, and then recalls the method with that sent, uh, temporary string. So we know it starts with this. Okay, so I'm going to record my output down here, like that. Okay, and so now it's going to recall the method. Instead of having watch, this digit's going to be gone, so it's going to look like that. Okay, and so it's just going to rerun through these lines of code. So the length is now four, and then it's greater than one. So we are we going to redo a substring from zero to three, which would be W A T. It's going to print that out. Okay, and then it's going to recall it with W A T. So now it's going to look like this. And length is going to be three. So we still haven't hit the base case, right? We're still greater than one. So now it's going to do substring zero to, to two, which is going to be just W A. So hopefully we can start to see the pattern here. So it's going to be W, A, and then the next time through would be W. And then uh, I think after that it'll find the end. Because once you recall that when you do this thing, temp will be blank. And then we'll call it with blank string. And then that length will no longer be greater than 1. So I think the right answer here is going to be that. Okay. Uh, so for the rest of today... Um, see if I can find the Schoology page for us here. So there'll be some coding bats. Um, and so actually, I'm going to have you try the coding bats first, and then there'll be help videos. I haven't made them quite yet, but um, try them out. And if you get stuck, watch the help videos. All right. Um, especially on this first one, don't spend a ton of time on it. If you get stuck, go to the help video because it's kind of a new concept, different type of recursion we haven't done. So you can try it, but then if you get stuck, watch the video. Um, other than that, if you have any extra time, I'll put the practice test in there for you today, too. So start with the do coding batch. Make sure you log into your account, right? When you click on it, go here. Make sure you log into the, the account there. And again, there'll be help videos yeah, if you get stuck. Good luck.